multi-terrain select. So essentially, uh, multi-terrain select allows you to, when, when you have it in the different modes, there's basically everything from mud and sand up to rock, and there's five modes. And allows you to basically pre-tune and custom tune the, uh, the ABS system and the traction control to what you're going to encounter. So, for example, if you're in, in uh, mud or sand, it's going to allow the truck to, uh, to allow more wheel slippage and spin than it otherwise would in traction control. Uh, on the other hand, in rock, you don't want a lot of wheel slippage. You want, you want everything to kind of be locked in, and so it allows that. So it's, it's a really neat system. You'll get a chance to, uh, to try that out today. And then crawl control. Crawl control is just kind of like a low speed cruise control. Um, there's five settings between, uh, I, they're not quite miles per hour, but uh, fairly close. You'll get a chance to, uh, to do lots of crawl control uh, experiments today and it'll be a lot of fun. Um, essentially what crawl control is doing is it's measuring the amount of wheel spin and wheel movement at each individual tire and it's, it's making adjustments milliseconds of, of adjustments, uh, braking and torque to each individual wheel to ensure that the vehicle can, stays at a consistent speed. So, like I said, it, I would encourage you to try to do some of the things uh, manually on your own and then try it in crawl control. And what you'll find especially is that it, it just, what I found is that I can't, there's no way that, that a human can really control the vehicle speed, you know, especially there's a downhill section on this rock crawl course that if you don't have it in, in crawl control, if you try to do it manually, it just it just bangs the heck out of the bottom of the truck. And so crawl control, like I said, when it's when when you're coming down off of a rock face, it's just really breaking that individual wheel and then maybe this one in the rear left is doing something different. And every wheel is encountering something different and it's making adjustments to make sure that you have a, a constant speed, which is which is ideal for off-roading.